So, you know it's almost Valentine's Day, so I wanted to make something for my parents, or a lover. So, I was going to make like a, a, a good idea for like a Valentine's card. So, um, what you're going to need is glue. You can use any type of glue, doesn't really matter. A type of marker. You can use any type of marker, doesn't really matter. And construction paper. If you don't know where to get construction paper, just get it at the dollar store. It is so cheap, it's a dollar. So you could just have construction paper, glue, and any type of marker. That's all you need. And I almost forgot, you need scissors. So first, you're going to take the construction paper. You're going to take your construction paper and get whatever color you want. By the way, I'm making a robot. So, whatever color you want with your robot, I want purple because it's my favorite color. So, you're going to draw. I'm using the color that really works for me. You're going to draw a head, a robot head, a square, and a rectangle, and the arms, and, um... I'm going to show you how to do these things. You should know how to make a square, rectangle, and all those things. So I'm not going to put that on camera. I'm just going to show how I'm going to make the arms and legs and things. And also, you are going to need to draw a heart. So I just want to include that you need to draw that. So here are my pieces. You're going to cut these out. So if you make a mistake, you can just always correct it. Because you're going to cut them out anyway. So I have my heart, legs, arms, body, and head. So you're not going to draw on, you can draw on your faces and things first, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to cut it out first and then draw everything on. So once you get to arms and legs, you are going to fold them like this. If you make a mistake on the back or something, you can just turn it over. Nobody's going to look at the back. So you're going to fold them like this because it adds more decoration to me. You don't have to. But it just adds more decoration for me. So this is how you do it. You take the... Well, let's assume that it's straight. So you take it, fold it back, front, back, front, back. And then there... And then you fold your creases. Make sure they're all the way folded. And open them up. And you have your own, I don't know what to call it. So you're going to need two of those. So, first of all, you're going to need to make your legs a little bit big. Because at first, I drew my legs big, but when I cut them out, they were super tiny. This is my first one. And it only had two folds in it, so I was like, I'm just going to cut out another piece. But it had something on the back, so... So I'm going to record this one, other one, if you didn't know. Take it. Okay. Hold your creases. Open. So I have two of these. You want to keep those, and you're going to have to do the same for your arms. So your arms are going to be kind of skinny, but they're going to be long. So you're going to take, if you have a big piece, you can just cut it in half. So you're just going to cut, fold, back, front, back, and push your edges, and there are your arms. both of my arms and both of my legs. So, I assumed that my legs were a little fat. So, I was just going to cut them in half and do something else with the other one like for another project. I don't have to keep I'm mean, throwing it in the trash because you might need it and you don't have any construction paper. So, here's my legs. Here's my arms. My body. So, I have my construction paper here. That didn't really count. It's only count one. 
so here's the thing that I cut out. I'm gonna cut out this. So you're gonna cut it out with your heart. If you want another color, just give me another piece of construction paper or you can just color it. So I'm gonna cut out my heart. So I cut out my heart. It's kind of bad. But look at my first one. It is horrible. It is way better. This is way better than this. That is just when I cut it out, it was just, I didn't know what was going on. I was like, what is that? So, put your other papers to the side that you already cut out. And now you have all your pieces here set up. So, I'm going to set up my, I'm going to need to fix my, it's kind of like, good, this. And your heart is going to go in the middle. But I don't really think this is the correct color for a heart. So I'm going to get another piece of construction paper. And of course, it's going to be pink because I like pink and purple and unicorns. I don't know why. It's just... I don't know. <laughs> so, I'm going to draw out my heart. This time I'm going to do it in pink because I don't want people to see that I just drew the heart and cut it out. I just want to see this. I think I can keep this one. It fell! It fell down! Wait, where did it go? I need to make another heart now. Wait. If you do have stickers from the doll store or like an arts and crafts store, use those. Because cutting out a heart is super hard. I lost one and it was good. I see it right down there. But that means if I get it, look at this. It's just flat on top. Okay, that means if I get it, I'm going to have to move everything out and get it. It's just, can't do that. See if I can fix this one. I don't want to make another one. Is it good? Let me see. So you're going to take your heart, you're just going to set it up, you're not going to glue it yet. So, this is what I had in mind, this is what I had in mind. Oh my gosh, wait, did I press the button? This is going to be, oh my goodness, it fa I need to stop recording right here. Fell down, all the way down, everything is falling. I need to move. It is recording. Oh my gosh. So, before I was interrupted by something that happened, I was saying I wanted to, to be set up, but then I was like, um, I can't show you because it's not glued and I'm going to have to hold on to different angles. Actually, I think I want to change the size of the head. I think it's too wide. There. I think that's good. So I'm going to go ahead and start gluing. And I usually just hold it, press it down, and do this. Because when you glue it, oops. Lost another item. Seriously. So. I'm going to start recording over here. already filled twice, well actually three times, when I wasn't recording. Now I need to get another item, because, uh, I just need this. Everything failed. I'm going to push all this stuff over here that we don't need now. I'm going to get all the stuff that we do need, and this is the trash 
and stuff. But I'm going to cut this in half once again. And put it over there. So, I am going to put together my Valentine's Day card. But afterwards, you're going to have to put it on a card. You're just not going to have this robot sitting there and nobody can find it or whatever. You're going to have to have it in the card. If you want to fold the card, which I'm going to do, you can't. But I'm going to start gluing. So far, I have this. This is the body with the heart on it. And I might decorate the heart because it's just a plain heart. So I now have my arms glued on. This one makes me want to like do a hugging card because his um, arms are out like this and isn't that how you hug. But I didn't really want to do that so I'm just going to fold them over. Still looks like he's hugging but I'm just going to just not include the hugging thing. So now I have my robot without a head because you can't glue the head on it's just going to be like. I'm not going to put the head together. It's going to be like a little tiny space between like that. But you're going to need another piece of construction paper. So I have my red piece of construction paper. So what I'm going to do is take it and fold it evenly. It's red because Valentine's Day filled with hearts and love and colors. You want to set the mood. If you wanted to make, if you made, if you messed up a little bit and made your um, robot small, and um, you just didn't, have, you didn't want to correct it, you just didn't want to see if um, you could just do whatever you have. So what you're gonna do is fold your thing in half like this. And you could put your robot on the top and write some things in here, like open it up and see something. Else. I don't know. But I'm going to do mine like this because mine is kind of big. So I'm going to put mine on the inside. Like this. So now I have my robot on the inside. And I thought it was so adorable. It is so adorable. So I'm going to draw, draw my, all my face and all the other features that I need. So I have my robot. I know it's like a girly type, but I'm giving this to my mom. She's a girl. I'm a woman. So I'm going to write some notes here. Like, on um, the front of the card, you can just put like a title. Happy Valentine's Day for or whatever. So I thought it was super duper fun doing this. I thought, I think this thing is adorable. Um, I thought it was fun doing this. And I got interrupted a lot of times. I just got interrupted when I was showing you this card. And then someone came in my room, just busting it in my room. Not please. So, okay, my name is Giselle, if you're new to my channel, so please subscribe, I have zero subscribers, um, I'm new to YouTube, I never made a YouTube channel before, but I made videos before, with my dad, though, so, my name is Giselle, if you didn't know my name, and have a happy Valentine's Day.